Can we actually buy this in China right now? Yes. What do we have here? Flying car. In today's video, in a world of innovation, where the future is driven by the unyielding force of progress, China has emerged as an unstoppable leader of a global revolution. Can we actually buy this in China right now? Yes. In the high stakes arena of new energy vehicles, a seismic shift is happening. A new era in transportation is being forged, where boundaries are shattered and innovation knows no limits. Buckle up and let the show begin. I'm here with Aero HT. My name is Alex, and I'm here with VV. You're the designer of this yes. magnificent device. Let's go have a look and let's talk about it. No problem. So, what do we have here? So, basically, this is uh, our first production about the flying car. And uh, our company, our job is to free to freedom to fly, right? So, this is our first step. So, basically, you can see this is a hybrid, uh, like a vehicle that we can carry this thing, which you can see there, right. the flying kit wow, in, the, in the trunk. And then uh, our scenario is uh, once you have this car, we can go to like, uh, you know, somewhere outside the city or some flying camp. And then we go uh, drive to there and fly away like uh, about 20 minutes. Amazing. Like so are you telling me that this, what do we even call it? A helicopter, drone? What do we call it? Flying car? Yeah, no, we are calling it flying kit. Flying kit. Yes. So that is on the back of this? Yes. Wow. Can we see the back of this? Or we is can. It, like, is uh, it possible? No, we can see like just uh, there. Okay, because, let's go have a look yes, here. Yes. Come with us, come with us. This is absolutely magnificent. Yes, you can see wow. here. Wow. Basically, we put a really huge thing in the, inside this trunk. And you this can see how much effort we did for this. This is a design masterpiece, huh? Yes. So everyone, just so you can see this, this here is that over there. Wow, okay, now I have some very interesting questions for you about this. The beautiful design here. Yeah. Look at the aesthetics on this. Is this, can we actually buy this in China right now? Yes, no, actually we are just open the pre-order. Pre-order, okay. Yes. We open the pre-order and we want to be fully production on the 2026, the first season. So 2026 is our target. Yes. These are the rotor engines? Yes, this is the rotor engines. We have six of them on six, each arm. Yes. Six rotor engines, propeller blades. Yes. Would this be now the front window or something like Basically, that? Yeah, this is the cabin area. Okay. So there are going to be two people sitting inside and we have a two driving system. First, you can like fly automatically. Okay. Because if you like, for example, you just want to enjoy the view, right? Right. And you can automatically fly and then you just, I mean, do whatever you want. Okay. So let's talk about what powers this vehicle here. So our vehicle is basically a hybrid system. So okay. we have the gasoline, but also it's uh, electric. So we have two options. Yes. That's handy. Because the, because the main point is that our vehicle is not just a, a normal vehicle. We need to charge this blanket also. Right. So with the gasoline power, we can charge the, uh, we can charge the blanket like six times. That's great, huh? Yeah. That's All right. Well, that's, that's a design feature that is very interesting that we need to pay attention to in these vehicles as they innovate into the future. We have a 1,000 kilometers range. Wow. Yeah, so can I ask you, are you using, are you work the battery on this? Is it CATL? Yes. It is CATL. Yes, yes. Fantastic choice. Yes. I mean, what's exciting here is the collaboration between something that we thought was never possible. Yes. And it is, it's here right before us yes. now. This is the future in front of me. Tell me what your involvement was with this vehicle. 
basically all the exterior design and uh, about the vehicle and the flying kit. We are working on this. So you're the design team for it, huh? Yes. You're working with people. Does that door open or not yet? Not yet. No, not this yet. one cannot Still open. Still under yet. design. Yes. Got it. Okay, let's talk about this beautiful thing here. So what would be, what kind of person would buy this? So we are looking for the people that, uh, who want to explore the nature, you know, who want to go something different. It's not like uh, we go off-road, right? Off-road people, they can only stay on the road, to be honest. But what we want different is uh, we want people to explore the air, you know. Right. Now, so maybe somebody that might own a vineyard uh, that might want to fly uh, yeah. a little bit deeper or maybe somebody that has a heavy investment in agriculture yes uh, that has a large acreage yes or uh, it's just mind-blowing where we can yes. go with this yes. do we have a uh, a price of what this unit might be costing yes no as we open the pre-order so the pre-order price is uh, under two million rmb that's it yeah that's it with the drone with the drone flank it and the car that is very affordable. Yes. And I guess as production goes more, as innovation goes more, maybe the price possibly could go down. Possible. Now, is there different types of, is it just one model or are you gonna scale it up? Maybe bigger batteries? I don't know. I don't know much yeah, about that. Yeah, this will release on the future plan in our, of our company. Let's That's keep fine. walking around no this problem. device here and look at it. So how many, pe how many people can sit inside this? Two people. So Two basically, people. you can see in the middle the, the joystick. If you can see ah, that right there, yes. you can come closer. Just uh, show the camera right in there. So the joystick will be the main control of this whole flank kit. Okay. All right. So amazing. Hey. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Now let's talk international market here. No problem. This is. Have we got certification here in China on this thing? No, we are applying for the certification in China now. Okay. And uh, the government already take our paper and okay. it's working on it. For the international part, we are still working on this. We are very positive to, to I mean, push this to the international market. Of course, market, it's, right? it's a masterpiece of, yes. of design. Thanks. I mean, absolutely spectacular. Thanks. And the international market, we're mm. excited to maybe get the international market in something like this. Yeah, of course we have this plan, but uh, now the plan is uh, still a little bit secret and uh, we will release more information on our official website. We kind of talked about the price. Mm -hmm. We've talked about, uh, you know, what kind of other uh, things could this be used for? Maybe medical? Could it be used of in course. a medical it emergency? It could be like a medical emergency. Also the rescue, fire, fight, firefighters, they could use this, right? And even just for sightseeing, you know, some like ah. a famous park, famous mountain. We can we can sell all of all of this to the to the parts, and the the people, the customer, the viewer, the visitors, they can come and they just fly away for like twenty minutes. That's right. a quite a long time, to be honest, in the sky. What's the height of this? How high can it go? Uh, now we are limited in three hundred meters. That's still pretty high. That's very pretty high. Three yes. three three hundred meters is very high. Yeah. Now. Um, packaging in the car, so is that also battery powered? Yeah, that is a fully battery powered. So in the end here, you know, we are looking at a multi-purpose product that is not just about people having fun, yes, but also a product that people can take, whether it's owning a, a business, whether it's maybe even for a construction site. Of course, If yeah. you have, uh, you know, skyscraper buildings, maybe there's a rescue, maybe you just want to see the components. Yes. You don't have to go too complex. Beautiful, magnificent. Who came up with this idea? Good. Uh, our famous, uh, our talented uh, engineer. Wow, yes, extremely amazing. And do you have any other collaborations with other companies in China that help to build this prototype? Is there any no, other? No, as you know, we are still have the name of Xpong, right? So okay. basically, we are kind of a brother companies. We are separate, but we have the same boss. Terrific. And uh, so we want to, because Xpong Moto, they already like uh, working in cars for many years. Right. They have the experience. So that's why we want to build this car with the Expo models. So Got we, it. Because we want to, you know, come up with more reliable things. Right? Now, uh, let's just stand in front of this for our final part here. Yeah. Where are, where is this being manufactured right now? No, this manufacturer is in the Guangzhou, Guangzhou, Guangzhou. district. Wow. Yes. So okay. it's our it's our factory, and it's just uh, started like this 
early of this month. Okay. And uh, yes. Terrific. Anything else that we missed? I think that's that's pretty we much got everything. It. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are having a look into the future here. This is something that I never actually thought was possible, but it is possible now here in China. And in fact, we may have some footage that we might show you later of this being in use. Anyway, my name is Alex for Western China International Communication Organization. I'm here with V. Thank you so much. Thank you. And your name of your company again is? My company is uh, Expo Aero HT, Xiaopeng Huitian. Yes. Terrific. Thank you for talking and showing us this magnificent piece of hardware. Thanks. All right. Great. Thank Thanks. you.